my dear friends this is the last part of my video series in search of happiness and success which is based on my roots for a meaningful life which in my view were instrumental in achieving my goals my sole aim is to share the rules which work well for me and i got what i desired so that my viewers might find some tips helpful for them to achieve their own goals of life so my 12th and last rule for a meaningful life is love all without any discrimination i mean love for everyone and hate for none without any discrimination centuries ago buddha taught to radiate boundless love towards the entire world above below and across unhindered without ill will without enmity what an excellent advice and we if we all follow it most of the problems of the world will disappear we must love all without any discrimination means that we should treat all people with respect kindness and compassion regardless of their race religion gender nationality or any other characteristic that makes them different from us and should have no hatred for anyone discrimination is the act of treating people unfairly based on their differences and it can cause harm suffering and inequality loving all without discrimination means embracing diversity celebrating differences and recognizing the inherent value of each human being it means rejecting prejudice bias and bigotry and promoting inclusion acceptance and understanding it also means standing up against discrimination in all its forms by loving all without discrimination and hating none we create a more just and equitable world where everyone has the opportunity to thrive and reach their full potential we also promote a culture of respect dignity and harmony where all people feel valued appreciated and accepted for who they are marcus aurelius said we must be patient with those people it is our special privilege to love even those who stumble the stoics view stumbling people as misguided and lacking in wisdom more like children than malicious people socrates said nobody does wrong willingly loving all and hating none without discrimination has so many benefits in day to day life such as increased empathy and understanding improved relationships reduction in conflicts and violence improved mental health and a positive impact on society to sum up we can say with confidence that loving all and hating none without discrimination can bring many positive benefits to your personal life to the society as a whole and resulting in a peaceful world seneca said wherever there is a human being there is an opportunity of kindness stoicism calls for forgiveness if you want to be your best kindness is a great value to develop and nothing can hinder you from being kind it is always possible stoics consider forgiveness as a strength so freely forgive the wrongs of others and be kind don't wish for people not to do wrong rather wish for the strength to be tolerant and forgiving remind yourself of the ignorance of the wrong doers concluding comments and suggestions in this series named in search of happiness and success i have discussed my 12 rules for a meaningful life which work for me very well i have learned this at least by my own experience and the writings of great people that if you advance confidently in the direction of your dreams and endeavor to live the life which you imagine 
you will meet with success. I tell my kids and youngers to follow the five simple tips for a successful and happy life, which I'm quoting here for the benefit of my young viewers and subscribers. Number one, develop your own rules of life and follow them religiously. Number two, every year, Convert your dreams in goals with specific action plans and review the progress periodically. But do all this in writing. Number three, don't go for quick fixes or overnight richness traps. Number four, work hard with focus on your goals with a winning mindset. Number five, don't complain or blame anyone for any failure. Sit calmly, think over it, take the responsibility, assess the reasons, fix the issue and move on. That's all. Just to recap, we have discussed the following rules for a meaningful life. Number one, live in present, past is history, future is mystery, only present is reality. Number two, count blessings and express gratitude. Expressing gratitude is the key to a peaceful and successful life. Number three, care for yourself and savor each moment. If you don't care for yourself, you cannot care for anyone in the world. Number four, review relationship, enjoy family and friends. Keep only positive relationships and get rid of stressful ones. Number five, educate yourself and share with others. Continue education and sharing with others is essential. Number six, manage your time. Managing your time is managing your life. Number seven, help others by all possible means. Do good for someone and it will come back manifold. Number eight, accept your mistakes and weaknesses. Numerous problems of life can be solved if one follows this principle. Number nine, avoid meeting negative people. Such persons are the real hurdles in your progress and success. Number 10, success is a choice, not chance. Determination to succeed is the key to progress. Number 11, stay positive to boost your self-image. Be positive and optimistic and you will get whatever you want in life. And number 12, love all without any discrimination. To me, it is a golden rule for a happy life. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of my series in search of happiness and success. There are many, many rules to lead a happy and successful life, explained by numerous successful people and authors. But I have limited this series to my own 12 rules, which I feel and believe were instrumental in my success. I hope my viewers may find some tip helpful to lead a successful life as per their own understanding of success. Please subscribe my channel and favor me with your views and comments on this video. Also click the like button if you like the video. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you all a very meaningful, happy and successful life. We will meet soon with some other topic of interest for my dear viewers.